I'm very excited right now, guys. Not only because I have a new intro, and not only because this is another edition of Mail Call, but because of what is inside of this package from eBay.com. Let's get our trusty keys, and let's cut this thing open. Oh, and this is a figure I've, I think I'm, I've been most excited for this uh, since the Elite 36 Dean Ambrose. Um, so. It's like every unboxing I do, I just have to struggle to get this package open. It's ridiculous. Okay, here we go. Wait a minute. What? This isn't even the figure I was thinking about. Aw, wait a minute. I was expecting another figure. Uh, this is the Elite 37, Elite 38 Roman Reigns. I'm actually surprised right now because this was supposed to be my Elite 37 Seth Rollins. And I think it's supposed to get here also. Wow. Okay, well, I guess we just got swerved a bit here on Mail Call, which doesn't happen very often. But this is also really cool. Elite 38 Roman Reigns. All right, you guys, I promise you, this is the figure that I wanted. Roman Reigns, still awesome, but I wanted this figure like I said you guys know. Uh, let's open this up. I just got this like three seconds ago. I started filming right away because this figure is awesome. And it is the Elite Series 37 Seth Rollins. This looks really awesome. Uh, I am going to swap the knee pads though. Uh, I don't want to get too much into this figure because I'm probably going to film a review on it. But still, love this figure already and I haven't even opened it. Looks awesome. Uh, so yeah. Alright, so we're here with uh, a bunch of new stuff. Uh, various different places and people and customs and pickups that we have to get into because we have a lot of it so I guess we'll start with what I just mentioned the Seth Rollins fix up with the knee pads which I just finished and it looks really good so these knee pads are the uh, the ones with the open back the stone cold ones and they actually match the kick pads and the attire unlike the other ones and it looks really good on Rollins uh, and it definitely improves the figure at least in my eyes here is a Kevin Steen face scan, thanks to Noah who fixed it up for me. This wasn't Arn Anderson, but now it is Kevin Steen and it looks uh, pretty good. Uh, the other one that I had, the molding uh, broke and that was really annoying, so I had to get it fixed. Thanks for taking a back bump, Kevin. Here is an Adrian Neville custom that Noah also made me using a bunch of different parts. Uh, I believe these are Daniel Bryan arms, Cody Rhodes torso, Neville head scan. Um, I believe this lower half is Daniel Bryan, and the knees are the Adrian Neville Basic. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool custom elite. Uh, thanks again, Noah, for the Kevin Steen head skin and Neville custom. I really, really do enjoy them. I also want to say thanks to my friend Jesus, who hooked me up um, with a paint job on the Cena sneakers. He painted them all black for me. As for the rest, DM Cena Arms, the Defying Moment Cena Arms with a hand swap. Uh, WrestleMania 29 Cena body and Elite 34 head scan, which looks pretty cool. Once again, Jesus, thank you. I'll link his channel down below uh, as well as Noah's. Here is the Elite 36 Bray Wyatt that I picked up at Toys R Us, and I gotta say, I really do enjoy the figure. I actually really, um, I don't know, I kind of was looking forward to it, but I didn't. Re it wasn't really on my radar. Uh, I haven't really found Elite 36. Believe it or not, but uh, there, these were shelf warming. There was like 15 of them, so I decided to pick one up. And probably gonna swap the head scans, but other than that, it's a pretty cool figure. Also picked up this Jack Swagger Zeb Coulter 2 pack. This is, believe it or not, my first Zeb Coulter. I missed out on the first basic, and uh, it's pretty cool. I like the face scan. The waist is a bit loose, but other than that, it's a pretty cool basic figure. And I actually really like this Jack Swagger figure. The head scan is awesome. I like the attire. I wish. It would make another Elite with a better torso because the last one they used was just way too skinny so why not just use a bigger torso for Jack Swagger and make this attire into an Elite form. 
Am I the only one that wants that? I don't know, maybe. Believe it or not, guys, this ringside exclusive Brock Lesnar was found in my fodder bin. I had one in my closet that was just full of broken figures, not really parts, and I found the body, as in the torso and like the thighs, to this ringside exclusive Brock Lesnar, and I went ahead and put all the rest of the parts on there, and it's really cool. Swap the 21 one head skin on there, some Stone Cold arms. Uh, not sure what knees these are, but uh, the ringside exclusive Brock Lesnar boots I found also, and uh, pretty cool Brock Lesnar, and I love it, I love it, how the, when I find this ringside exclusive Brock Lesnar, guess what happens at Ringside Fest? They release another one. Isn't that just great? Speaking of Ringside Fest, I went ahead and picked up this Adam Rose, which is pretty cool. I was actually looking forward to this Adam Rose a lot. Uh, as for the rest of Elite 38, uh, I have Reigns, which is really cool, as you guys saw earlier, and I don't know about the rest. I don't know about Daniel Bryan. The head scan doesn't really look that good to me, but uh, we'll have to see. But I did want Adam Rose, and it is really cool. And I also picked up the ringside exclusive Scott Hall, which at first, um, I wasn't looking forward to it, just because, I don't know, I had the Razor, but then I traded it to Bernard Inc. Um, I saw it in person. I was not planning on picking it up at all, but after seeing it in person, I thought I had to. I just think it looks really, really awesome, and hopefully I can get some other NWO figures in the future, like that Ringside exclusive Kevin Nash that's coming out soon. But yeah, that's really it for this episode of Mail Call, guys. If you enjoyed, I don't know what to tell you, um, so goodbye.